Hi, my name is Louis Dubay, and I love to talk about movies 24-7. Today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favorite horror movies of 2022. Um, coming in at number 10 is Pearl. Uh, it's a prequel to X. I thought this was an amazing um, prequel. It's a really good theater experience because I was the only one, uh, I was the only person there, um, which is very nice. It was, uh, it was a very creepy movie. I thought it was a great character piece and um, period piece. Mia Goff, of course, is amazing. I like the story. She's a great villain. I liked how it played out and how it ended. Uh, really, really great prequel. Uh, next up is Barbarian. A super bonkers movie. Uh, first act was com so amazing. I loved it. Um, very good movie. A uh, really creepy villain. Um, there's a turn in the middle of the movie and it kind of goes in another direction. I didn't love the ending, but this movie is still really good. I, I, it's very solid, great acting, um, great scares, really, um, some really good sh shots, great tension, very entertaining. Uh, next up, Orphan First Kill, prequel, um, to the original. Very good. Um, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did based off the trailer. Um, they did a similar thing with, uh, as the first one, they had a big twist, and it was a really good twist. It really surprised me, um, so I really enjoyed that. Esther is a great character. Um, yeah, I, I really, I really like both movies. Very solid. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a third one. Uh, next up, another prequel, um, Prey. Um, very good period piece. Um, uh, super, super, super great movie. Um, I thought it was. Uh, very well shot, great, um, it's not really a horror movie, but it, it, it basically is, whatever, um, a great thriller, um, the main character was awesome, I love the ending, her versus the predator, um, love the story, love the characters, uh, it was very good. Next up, Significant Other, a lot of people probably haven't heard this one, uh, it's on Paramount Plus, that's a great movie, super underrated, you gotta check it out if you haven't, so, uh, Micah, Monroe is the lead. It's about her and her boyfriend that take a hike out in the forest and stuff starts happening. I won't tell you what because I don't want to spoil it. Cause it's, it. It's like one of those movies you got to go in blinds because it's the best way to do it. And if you know absolutely nothing about this movie, it's such a blast. Like this movie has one of my favorite twists of the year and one of my favorite moments of the year. It like blew my mind. It was so, so good. I, I loved it. Watched it twice. I showed my friends. Uh, super good movie. Next up, Smile. When I saw this movie, I thought this movie was going to be absolutely terrible. It, it looked like a buy that man movie, but it was nothing like that. This movie was amazing. Like, most mo horror movies don't scare me, like, because I've seen so many. But this movie, like, triggered my anxiety. It was, like, super, super, super creepy. Like, it was, like, so effective. Like, the music was just so bombastic. It was, like, it was creepy. It was chilling. Um, like, this, like, the tension just rises. Um, scene to scene. It's so good. It's, like, it's, un I think it's underrated. I love this movie so much. The ending was so insanely scary i i absolutely loved it again i saw this oh, with my friends and we were uh, by ourselves in the theater um love the ending i hope i hope we get a sequel um i thought this was a very very well done horror movie uh next up is x um this is the sequel in the original movie to what i talked about earlier pearl a great movie um, this, um, Mia Goth is great as Pearl and as Maxine. It's a, you know, about, um, a group of people shooting adult film, um, at a farm. And then, you know, um, the old people start picking them off. It, it was very good. It was a, an excellent slasher. I really enjoyed the characters. Um, very well shot, super entertaining. I loved it. It was, it was amazing. Next up, the black phone. I, I was excited for this movie ever since I saw the trailer. Um, the Grabber is such a creepy villain. It, he's terrifying. Um, I, I love, you know, Stephen King movies. Um, this is um, based off his son's um, short story, The Black Phone, Joe Hill. Um, and I thought this was amazing. Like, the, the, the kids in this movie were amazing. The, um, uh, it was just so intense from beginning to end. I loved the ending. So emotional, so good. Um, number two, Menu. 
Oh, such a great funny movie. This movie made me laugh so many times. Not even by sometimes not even by saying anything. Sometimes it's just like a the dish like that's like on the screen that's just shown in the corner if you pay attention. Um definitely pay attention to that if you haven't watched it or rewatch it and pay attention. It's so funny. Like the ending of the movie made me laugh out loud because it's just so ridiculous. It's like really great satire. I like the like the characters, the setting, the setup, it's super funny. It also has some pretty creepy moments. Um, it's a really, really well done horror comedy. Um, I love this movie. It's so good. Um, coming in number one, Scream 5. I'm a massive Scream fan, so of course. I'm a little biased, but who cares? I love this movie. It was so good. Um, I saw it twice in the theaters. I've watched it like seven times by now. I'll probably watch it more before Scream 6. I loved it. Um, I liked, I, I won't spoil it in case anyone hasn't watched it, but I like the reveals at the end. I like the news character, Sam and Tara. I liked uh, Mindy, Chad. Um, I, I thought it was really, really well done. Uh, directors of Ready or Not, um, took over and they did great. Uh, I, I actually love this movie. I was very satisfied with it. I'm very excited for Scream 6. All right, guys. Well, that's my ranking for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day and you take care. Bye.